What's up everyone, it's Jake here and welcome back to Almost Vintage Style. Today we are back with another boot review and we are reviewing something a bit different because it's a pair of boots that I don't actually own. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I have had the pleasure of doing this on YouTube. So uh, I want to thank my buddy Robert Corsi uh, for sending me these boots that I think a lot of people are going to be very excited to see a review of. Um, and that is because they are a pair of Quan Shoemaker boots. Okay, so for those of you who do not know, and I'm guessing a decent amount of you who are watching this video are aware, that Quan Shoemaker is a brand out of China, out of Dongguang, China. Um, they're kind of in the same area that a lot of, or at least the majority of shoe factories or, and high quality shoe brands are in China. That's sort of Guangzhou, Dongguang area um, in kind of southern-ish uh, coast of China. And Quan, if you haven't seen, if you haven't, don't follow him on Instagram, uh, if you don't know that, uh, he makes some really, really nice looking boots. And I have been impressed by what I've seen from his brand for several months now. And um, I could tell they're probably some of the highest quality shoes out there. There's, you know, the boot market is still blowing up. Lots of new brands getting a lot of shout, a lot of uh, praise and a lot of hype. Some of them don't deserve it. Uh, some of them, and they're overhyped because everybody's so big on boots right now. There's a decent amount of new brands that don't deserve the hype they're getting. Um, but there are some new ones that I thought did deserve the hype. So for especially this last year, the ones that I've seen get a lot of hype uh, that I do think deserve it are like NF Bootmaker. I think his boots look as good as people are saying they are. Um, and Quan, his boots also look like they are as good as people are saying that they are. Um, my track record, I have to give myself some credit. Uh, when I take look, I can look at pictures now and I can say, okay, that boat looks like it's as good as people say it is. And then when I try it in person, I'm right. Uh, my track record now is pretty spot on for that, honestly. So, um, and I'm happy to say that that is the case with Quan Shoemaker as well. These look like some of the best boots on the market. Having handled them now, having I've actually tried them on, they are fortunately my size. So I did get to try them on and wear them a little bit. And yes, they do feel every bit as good as they are reputed to be and as good as they look on Instagram. So let's go over that right now. Okay, so again, I wanna give a shout out to my buddy Robert Corsi, AKA EDC, I think what's his name on Instagram? EDC underscore RPMC. Uh, he reached out to me and asked if I would like to review these boots that he just got. Uh, they're brand new, they're not worn, um, and he let me try them on and he's letting me review them, which I really appreciate. So obviously that means that I'm not um, giving you the full experience with these like I am with some other boots, but like I said, um, my track record is pretty good with being able to judge the quality of boots and um, at least I did get to try them on, I get to handle them, I get to see the construction quality and I've gotten some notes from him because these are not his, this is not his first pair of Quan Shoemaker boots, so I can give you some details on that as well. And then obviously if somebody eventually gives you, you know, a full review, you know, a six month, year long review of a pair of Quans, then obviously you should watch that too. Um, but there really isn't much on YouTube about this guy, so that's why I'm excited to do this. So basically what these are is they are a pair of Norwegian split toe slash logger slash mock toe boots. Um, on a kind of slightly low woodsman heel, essentially. That's what they are with a nice V-stitch decoration in the back in a red-brown museum calf leather, okay? Um, and the details are, in terms of construction, they are, in fact, hand-sewn welted according to Quan, uh, because Robert asked him, they are supposedly hand-sewn welted, but with a machine outsole stitch. So that's basically what uh, brands like, you know, Clinch do is uh, machine uh, stitch the outsole stitch, but the hand sewn welting is still actual hand sewn welting. So honestly, that's still pretty good. I mean, there's some a couple brands like some brands like the Indonesian brands, uh, Flame Panda, I believe, and obviously White Cloud will do hand outsole stitching, and obviously a lot of high end dress makers will do the same. But even some nice dress makers will do machine outsole stitches as well, um, and that's honestly fine, especially for the price, which for all of that, uh, and these are made to order, this is not a stock model, this is all, this is pretty customized with a Rockhorde Dr. Soul half soles, also very, very nice. Dr. Soul's very high quality stuff. Uh, this was 658 with shipping, which is a steal, 
honestly, in my opinion, okay? Uh, so yeah, lots of like about these, and I'll get into the quality and everything in a second, but in terms of what the brand is and everything, I wanna get into that. So Quan Shoe Maker is from China, um, and from what I understand, I believe I got this from my buddy Ticho Blanco Shoes, that Quan used to work for Xbox or XB XS Boots Factory, but he wanted to kind of go off and do his own thing. So he started his own brand, and it is not a one-man shop, okay? I do want to make that clear from what I know, the information I was given. It's not actually a one-man shop. It's sort of like a Flame Panda-ish operation, uh, much more urban. Uh, Flame Panda's out kind of in the countryside-ish, uh, but uh, Quantum Makers is right in the city. But it's a small workshop with several guys. He is the head you know, person, Quan is the main guy, um, and he is involved in the production and he oversees everything. And um, you know he knows how to make shoes himself too. I'm sure he's involved in part of the shoemaking process, but it's a small team, okay? But it is obviously very in-house. I think he has, according to teacher, I think he has like his apartment like above the factory or something like that. So um, it's that's the situation that I know. And so that's, you know, very much in-house. I know some people don't want to buy Chinese products, uh, but this is not outsourced. This is as in-house as it really can get. Quan's the one training the guys that are under him. So, you know, that's, and they're making great craft products and, you know, uh, Ticho's seen his living situation. You know, they're not, you know, it's not a, a sweatshop at all, okay? So this is something that I believe, you know, if you're worried about the ethics of anything, this is pretty good, honestly. This is pretty great in, in terms of that. And, you know, new people are, people are getting jobs, you know, they're learning a skilled trade and things like that. So. Yeah, I, I can't see anything negative about that at all. I can only see positives there personally, okay? So um, in terms of the fit, so I am a 10 and a half on a Brannock. I My right foot is a little bit more narrow than my left foot. My left foot, especially on the outer ball, my foot needs a little bit more space. These are half size down from my Brannock size. These are a 10D. Um, and overall, they fit really, really nicely. And the only thing is that the left, uh, boot needs a little bit more room on the outer ball of the foot for me personally right here. They feel a little bit narrow right there. Um, so for me, I would do probably a 10 E uh, if I were ordering them. It's like my white clouds, my second pair of white clouds needed a little bit more room on the outside. And uh, same thing with my clinch. They feel good, but the left one just feels a little bit more narrow. So that's kind of my situation. But it's a pretty easy sizing, honestly. I'm basically a 10.5 E on a Brannock, um, and go down half a size and you're pretty set. And that's what Robert has said as well with his multiple pairs. So much easier to size than a lot of other brands. So that's pretty good. They do use like American sizing for the most part. So that's nice. Um, so I like that. They also come with like, they came with like at least two other sets of laces, I think. So that's pretty cool as well. Nice that they, you know, have that kind of extra stuff with it. And again, 658 shit for hand welted boots. Uh, this quality is crazy. Um, and yeah, that brings us on to the quality, which is the quality's good. Um, oh, actually, I want to finish up on, on the comfort. Uh, they don't have too much uh, arch support, a little bit. It's a good amount. It's not as flat as some brands. I personally would have gone, if it was me, this is their custom, so you can do what you want. I'd gone with a higher uh, heel lift here, but because um, just I feel like they look a little more uh, balanced for my taste, and that might give a little bit more uh, support. But you know, they still look really nice. I, this is not my style of boot, but they do look really well done. Um, and you can see that they actually nail everything in here as well. So got the nails here, uh, nails here, and then the stitching is very, very clean, honestly. I'm very impressed. In terms of comfort, they feel nice. They feel pretty soft, but still supportive. They're not super heavy. Um, they're lighter than I would have expected. They're not like flame pandas in terms of flame pandas crazy heft. They don't have that. They're a bit lighter than that. Um, I'm not saying they feel too light. They feel good quality. I'm not sure of everything that's on the inside of these boots. That's the one thing I'm not as aware of. So um, doesn't necessarily mean there's anything bad on the inside, but that's where I have less information. But overall, the quality um, is good. The materials seem very nice and I'm impressed. Okay. So yeah, in terms of quality, the overall stitching and construction and finishing is honestly very excellent. Um, hopefully you can see the heels are done very, very nicely, very clean. The finishing, the edge finishing is very good on these. It's about as good as you would expect for basically anybody below 
you know, bespoke dress shoe makers and white cloud essentially. Very clean, nothing to complain about. Uh, the outsole stitching, very, very well done. It's not, you know, 1000% perfect, but it's not really anything you could complain about. It's very good, very dense, very well done. Um, it's, it's nice, you know, you can, especially for the price, man, you really can't complain about it. Um, upper stitching, also very, very good. The V-stitch here, they had to kind of go around a second time, so there is that, but it's still very well done. The mock stitching is also pretty well done. I'm not sure if that was done by hand or not. That's not indicated. Again, you know, either way, it's still very nice. Uh, the triple stitching in most places, very, very clean, very consistent. Uh, pretty high SPI, not as high as what Modern Viberg is doing, but it's still good. There's a couple places where it's not 100% perfect. You can see a little bit of wobble right here. Obviously, this is contrast stitching color. Uh, it's white against brown, so you're going to notice it a little bit more. And, you know, the area where the vamp meets um, meets the, uh, the order, upper or quarter here, it's not 100% perfect, but it's still very good. It's certainly not sloppy. So, I mean, overall, it's very good. Um, I'm not going to complain. The one thing I think where it could be improved a little bit is the cutting. Um, I don't think the clicking is bad necessarily but the there's a little bit of like you can see like on this side a little bit of like the 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 grain is like you can see some of like the fibers right it didn't get cleaned up there same thing with like right here hopefully you can see it needs to get cleaned up a little bit more could have been cut a little more cleanly um but then like right here it looks perfect if that makes sense so, I mean, these are, I'm nitpicking. I, I'm gonna nitpick because they're so good otherwise, right? I'm, I, I nitpick with any brand like this. Um, honestly, compared to what I have seen from like Modern Clinch, these are basically as good as Modern Clinch right now. Uh, maybe with some slight, you know, Clinch might be slightly better at one thing and, and Quan might be better, slightly better at something else, right? It's very close though. Um, so I, I'd say, like my, my my latest pair of clinch are about as good as these and i've seen other clinch pairs where they actually look worse than these right and you're paying twice three times as much for a pair of clinch as you are for these so you know I, i'd say these are <laughs> they're looking pretty good in my opinion um yeah uh it's honestly they're really gorgeous and there's not really much to complain about um you know there's like a little like little fiber here, a little stitch that could have been cleaned up here. I, but again, super nitpicky. There's nothing that actually looks bad or concerning. The overall stitching is clean. The overall construction is clean. The overall, everything just looks really nice. So yeah, um, overall, I'm very impressed with these. Uh, they are pretty much as good as I was expecting them to be, which is that they are one of the best deals out there for higher end boots as of this time um, he has an actual production team so you probably won't have to wait as long as some other brands um, and right now not i don't think there's as many people ordering it i know more and more people are ordering from him because they just see him online and they see how good the boots look um, you know having handled them having tried them on they feel nice the break-in is like non-existent that's what robert told me and man he was right i tried these on and i feel like I could walk for five miles in these and they would probably be fine. They are, they, they flex pretty nicely. Like you can actually see they flex a little bit already. Um, they're not, I wouldn't say they're flimsy. They're not as light as like the iron boots are, but they're not as heavy duty as a pair of flame pandas or a pair of Pacific Northwest boots. So if you're looking for a pair of very good looking boots that, you know, um, definitely tougher than something, like I said, like a Thursday or an iron boots, um, but not as heavy duty as a Flame Panda or a Nyx or a Whites or a Franks or a JK or, or whatever. This is probably very good for you. If you want to do something made to order and you like his styles, definitely go for them. He definitely likes to do a more chunky look, but without the chunky feel. Like Flame Panda does the chunky look, but it has a chunky feel. These chunky look doesn't have as much of the chunky feel. That's like the kind of thing I can do by actually handling them and trying them on. The quality is, is basically exactly what I thought. They're not quite Flame Panda level yet. They could get there, honestly. I'd say they're slightly below Flame Panda. 
about the same as where clinch is right now which honestly for 658 dollars that's a freaking steal because i'm pretty sure flame panda costs more than that and flame panda is very difficult to get right now you're waiting at least two years and honestly as much as i love Pang, he's not doing a good job of getting back to people right now so if i had to choose right now I'd get a pair of, uh, actually his engineers look really nice, that's the other thing. Uh, Quan's engineers look good and he has nice looking buckles. I believe his engineers are a thousand. Um, yeah, I would get a pair. Uh, I don't really need a pair of engineers right now, but I, I would like to have a pair uh, just because I think they're really, really nice. But yeah, if I was gonna get, basically if I was to purchase, I haven't purchased a pair of boots in like two year, almost two years now, but if I was to purchase a pair of boots right now that wasn't a pair of white clouds, it would be Quan Shoemaker engineers. That would be honestly the next pair of boots I'd want to buy. That or a pair of NF Bootmaker, just because I think Nathan's boots look that good. So those are the two that I think I would get. I've kind of been talking about that a lot lately. I've mentioned this in other reviews, that like Quan and, and NF Bootmaker are like the two that I really like that I don't have. Um, and this reinforces that, yes, I would like to own a pair of Quan boots. Like if, if I could buy a pair of boots, this would be my, my first choice of his engineers. Um, so yeah, especially for the price, they're pretty great. Um, I can't really, I'd say I recommend them very highly. Um, they're amazing. And I'm just very impressed with the stuff that's coming out of China right now. Um, like I said, I know some people don't want to buy Chinese brands, but uh, especially when they're in-house like this and there's, I can't really see any reason not to if you're a big, if you're a boot fan, they look great. They're everything I thought they were going to be. So. Yeah, uh, again, thanks, uh, Robert, for letting me check these out. If you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, uh, DM, DM Quan Shoemaker on Instagram, and that's probably how you're going to order a pair. And uh, yeah, they look great. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.